Given that 2x cubed plus x squared cos y plus y to the 4 plus 2x minus 25 equals 0, find an expression for dy dx in terms of x and y. Given that x equals t cubed and y equals 2t squared plus 5t to the 4, find and simplify an expression for dy dx in terms of t. Show that there is no real value of t for which dy dx equals 5. So here's the question here in summary form. So let's have a look at it then, shall we? We need to get dy dx first in terms of x and y. So let's have a look at that then. So part A. So let's differentiate this in implicit function then. So the 3 comes down to be with the 2 to make 6x squared. Uh, now plus, this is a product. Let's use the product rule, u. The v dx cos goes to minus sine of something multiplied by the something differentiated plus that's u to v plus v cos y times du which is 2x isn't it so that's that product differentiated plus uh, 4 times something cubed multiplied by the something differentiated divide the x plus 2 then this is a zero, isn't it? Equals naught. So there's our um, expression differentiated term by term. So dy dx, let's collect the dy dx's then and start to simplify. Here we've got uh, a 4y cubed. Here we've got a minus sine y. So that's that one and that one taken care of. Now that equals, let's move everything else over the other side. Ah, we've got an x squared here as well, so I need to put in an x squared there with the sine y. Okay, so that's all of that expression here, this whole thing, because they're all together as one term. So now we've got um, minus 6x squared, minus 2x cos y, and then minus 2. Okay, so that's good. So what have we got there for dy dx? So, uh, dy dx then is equal to, well it's going to be, uh, I'm going to put, run a plus through all of this. So it's 6x squared plus 2x cos y plus 2 over this stuff here, but because I've run a minus through here, I need to run a minus through this bracket. So I'm going to write the second term first, x squared sine y, and flip the sine of course, and then the first term second, th minus 4y cubed. So that's what we've got then. It doesn't look it, as though it simplifies much further than that. So that's dy dx then for part A in terms of X and Y. We could take a two hours common, but it's a marginal improvement on what we've already got. So part B now. So we've got find dy dx. So part B. So uh, dx dt will be 3t squared. So dx dt then is equal to 3t squared dy dt, differentiate with respect to t. Let's have a look what we've got then. Um, 4t plus 20t cubed, yeah? So I can write, we can write that down. 4t plus 20t cubed. Let's just look at that again to be absolutely happy with that. So 2 comes down to make 4t to the 1. The 4 comes down, 20t cubed. 4 t plus 20 t cubed. So dy dx then. Divide one by the other. Divide this by this of course. 4 t plus 20 t cubed over 3 t squared. There's a t common top and bottom. So we can cancel by t. So it's 4 plus 20 t squared. When we take a t out from the top and underneath We'll have take a t out from the bottom. We've got that. 4 plus 20t squared over 3t. 
So there's dy dx then. Show that there's no real value of t for which dy dx equals 5. So here, let this equal 5. 4 plus 20t squared over 3t equals 5. That implies that 4 plus 20t squared move the 3t up equals 15t. So that implies then we've got a quadratic here. 20t squared minus the 15t, move it over, plus the 4, right there at the end, the constant, equals 0 then. We're reading it from uh, this expression. This equals that, of course, and we've moved that over there, so it will equal 0. So now, um, in this case, or you think there's going to be no real roots, there are no real roots, since the discriminant will be negative, won't it, if there's no real roots. So b squared is minus 15 squared, um, needs to be less than, for there to be no real roots, 4 times a, which is 20, times c, which is 4. So is 225 less than uh, 84 is 320? It is. So yes, there's no real roots to give dy dx equal to 5.